Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Good afternoon and praise the Lord. So good to be with everybody. Amen. That, God, that the Lord purposes to be part of this forum today that he calls uh, wisdom and wonder in God's word. Amen. Thank God for us being 11 days, I do believe, into the month of October. Amen. Beginning the final quarter of 2023. Amen. And are we yet alive? Just to see one another's faces. Glory to God. Thank you for all who will be joining us today or, or looking at it later. Who have a mind to just hear and learn um, from the Word of God. That's all. This isn't a forum for hashing out um, unresolved this, that, and the other. This is simply a forum for seeking to hear and learn what the Lord is saying directly from his word through his word let's go before the Lord in prayer Father in the name of Jesus we thank you for this day God thank you for your sovereign oversight of us and all that we're about oh God I thank you for your keeping power Lord I thank you that at the right time while we were yet sinners Christ died for the ungodly I thank you God that you had us on your mind oh Lord when you sent your son and your son gave his life oh god he saw our wretchedness lord and he saw our inability to do anything about it god i thank you for giving the answer uh, through the shed blood of jesus and i thank you for the power of that blood being alive and well today working in us and for us and through us bless this time of sharing we yield it all to you for your glory in the name of jesus be glorified Amen. Again, we thank God for everybody uh, who is able to join us today. Amen. And we just look forward to uh, the Lord speaking what he purposes for this gathering today. Amen. I am just excited. The Lord is yet doing great and marvelous things. Sometimes we don't um, take the time to notice them. Sometimes uh, other things cloud our vision of what the Lord, of all that the Lord is doing. But I'm telling you, he is doing great things for us. Whereof I am glad, I am glad, and I'm sure you are too. Whereof we are glad. Hallelujah. We are yet in this uh, uh, book of James. Amen. And um, we remember that it was written uh, to Jew, uh, Jewish Christians who had been dispersed um, Jewish Christians of the diaspora who had to run for their lives um, uh, of course uh, Israel wasn't pleased with them and nor was the Roman government um, who, of these folk who were acknowledging this other king but blessed be the name of the Lord uh, the Lord God knew that these people needed some direction um, to help them uh, be maintained and to help them be kept. And so do we all. We need direction so that we may be maintained and that we may be kept and that when we falter and, or fall, we can recover. Amen. Recovery is so important. I know many Christians tend to not think of of that as a need for Christians that once you get saved you're just okay everything's going well and uh, you just keep on going to church and keep on um, uh, 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 doing the right thing and, and but let me tell you amen um, the saints are in the, uh, the, the bullseye of the enemy glory to God and uh, he's constantly looking for ways to steal, kill, and destroy. He's constantly looking for ways to hinder us. Amen. And sometimes, um, uh, in spite of our diligence, um, we uh, may be uh, subject to uh, th a thought or a word or a deed. 
um, that is not pleasing in the sight of the Lord. And we have to recover. We have to recover our footing. We have to recover our focus. So we don't need to read about these first century Jewish Christians as though we here in the 21st century are so different. We, we are not really so different. Amen. We are sojourners in this world that is often unkind and unfriendly to Christians, unfriendly to people who really have a heart to please God. Amen. Amen. That's why I really don't understand and, and just don't take a hand in Christians fighting one another. Uh, amen. Because we are not one another's enemies. Amen. We have one common enemy, and that is Satan himself. Glory to God. But anyway, James writes this work to Jewish Christians to encourage them, to give them some guidelines, to give them some parameters uh, for, for uh, uh, holy living, some parameters for living in ways that please God. Amen. So we've covered lots in the book of James, and we may uh, kind of enumerate that at some time or another. But our focus <coughs> today is on James chapter 5, verses 13 through 15. James 5, 13 through 15. And we are just um, focusing those verses under this theme. Amen. Uh, prayer and faith working together. 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 Well, now, we, we will not go through a consuming uh, kind of definition of what prayer is and all of that sort of thing. We know, it, generally speaking, that it is communion and communication with the Lord. Amen. Communion and communication with the Lord. Amen. It is us sharing our heart, whether at that moment it's just the heart of praise, it's just the heart of thanksgiving, it's just the heart of worship, or, or whether, whether it be a situation where we have a heavy heart, or, or, or we're feeling under the attack of the enemy, or we, we feel be, bewildered. Um, whatever uh, it is, it's us communicating with the Lord. Amen. And this, this little lesson is simply telling us that prayer and faith have to work together. Amen. Uh, we, we will read in just a moment that we are instructed, bless the Lord, that we are instructed to uh, pray. Amen. We are instructed to pray. Amen. We are directed to pray. Amen. Uh, at, at, in the same, at the same while, amen, um, it is the, f the faith of those who are praying that actually gets the attention of God. It's not just the practice of prayer. You see, we can have a practice of prayer that is empty, that is void of substance, that is void of direction. It doesn't start you at any point and take you to any point, amen. It, it, it's just void, amen. It's just the practice, amen. Uh, uh, but but if it's going to be effective, if it's going to be effectual, amen. Then it has to be um, uh, uh, born out of the seedbed of faith, amen. We have to have this basic faith that says, not only will the Lord hear me. But he will answer. He will address our concerns. Amen. Let's read this, this passage. Uh, James 5, 13 through 15. James 5, 13 through 15. The word of God reads, Is there any among you afflicted? Let him pray. <laughs> Is he merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, 
anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven. Amen. Uh, I think um, verse 13 just addresses demeanor. Um, uh, uh, if, if we pray, if, if we're sick, pray. Yeah, don't just moan and groan and put on a sad face to get the attention of other people or, or uh, uh, try to draw pity to yourself from your situation. If we're sick, pray. Commune with the Lord. Amen. And then he says, I, I, is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Don't go off, off on a tangent talking about how great I am and, and what I have done and what I have accomplished and look at me. No, 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 no. Sing psalms to the Lord. Sing psalms to the Lord. If you're merry, if you have a carefree day, a worry-free day, the Lord has moved mightily and we've a situation um, has turned in our favor. We've overcome. We've been delivered. Whatever the situation is, if we're merry, sing psalms. Sing psalms. The book of Psalms is a book of songs. Sing psalms unto the Lord. Songs bred out, out of our faith. Songs from the book of Psalms that suit our situation. Or psalms that the Lord may birth in our spirit at that very moment. I'm telling you, if you marry, and marry just means I'm pleased, I'm, I'm, I'm at this great moment where there, there are no immediate major stresses or distresses. Amen. Just getting, losing uh, ourselves in that time of communion with God in a positive way. And we've got to train ourselves to do that more and more saints. Amen. Most of us are kind of quick to go to the Lord in, in prayer if there's sickness or some other challenge. But we've got to be just as quick to go to him in praise when, when our hearts are merry and when there's nothing heavy in us. Yeah. you don't, don't sit and wait for the next storm or sit and anticipate the next uh, challenge. Uh, 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 that merry heart does us well. Sing songs unto the Lord. Amen. Is there any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Now, uh, we may have some that, that, well, is there any sick among you? May involve a pretty wide spectrum. A pretty wide spectrum. Um, in terms of what we call sickness. Uh, saints, there's some um, inconveniences and some matters of life uh, that that uh, I really I that's just me um, so I'm not trying to force this on anybody but I, I don't call everything sickness um, if 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 I don't cut my nails on my hands on my feet or if I cut them inappropriately and an ingrown toenail develops um, and I'm, I'm aware of it soon and I go to take it, get it taken care of, I wouldn't count that as sickness. That's just a matter of life. Um, if, if you, you know, um, somebody, while the, the birthing of a child, I understand, is the ch it's a time when the mother's life is so close to death in giving life uh, to a child, um, I, I don't consider going in the hospital to have a baby the same as being in the hospital because of some sudden tragic or chronic uh, illness. Amen. Um, uh, so is there any sick among you? I believe the tenor, uh, the flavor, um, the import of this um, passage is there is there anybody who's really down uh, down who's really um, can't function is there the farmer who can't farm is is there is there the homemaker who cannot take care of a home is there somebody 
in, in, in uh, that's in the context of the original scripture in these days is there uh, some man or woman who has this job and they're about it every day and all of a sudden something's going on in their bodies and they can't function and they can't think straight and they're miserable and, and they can't be productive and, and now the thought of the lack of productivity and how that's going to impact my family so I'm not productive so I, I'm not making money so there's no income so, and, and on and on and on and on so frustration and anger and depression along with the sickness so we go and we hear the that that uh, bewildering C word um, there may be cancer or there is cancer well do, do I just get into a corner and sulk away at it amen no 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 well, if it's if it's fighting me then it's time for me to fight back and one of the ways we fight back is we get other people who know how to pray who know the value of prayer who know the power of prayer so James says call for the elders of the church the elders of the church doesn't have to be the senior pastor it's just people who are given to uh, ministry people are who are committed to the power of prayer and who will, will give that to, amen um, <laughs> I, I, I visited a, 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 a person some years ago who was uh, in ICU and she was a woman who um, who was pretty sick um, in her body and and uh, she belonged to a, um, a, a another church body, and uh, so as I was leaving, uh, her her uh, bishop came in, and and we exchanged our greetings, and then as I left, well, I guess they didn't know that I had really good, I could hear well, and. Uh, he said, yeah, I, well, I know he prayed, but let's have our own prayer. Well, <laughs> not that kind of foolishness. Uh, Saints, when are we going to be able to get over ourselves and believe if you're going to pray, then I'm going to put my faith with your faith in that prayer you pray. Okay? And, and, and there are times, yes, when multiple prayers may be appropriate, when multiple prayers may be um, needed, but generally, if somebody's sick, they don't need 15 different people coming in praying. They may need 15 people joining their faith together so that that one prayer or two prayers can really work. Amen. We we we, we cannot make a circus out of doing the will of God. What happens is in that in that instance we make it more about us. It becomes a performance based thing. It becomes well who prays better and who used the right words and this one really moved me and that prayer and faith work together. If you there and you have already stated, you know, we're gonna have prayer and I walk in, I'm gonna join my faith with your prayer. And I'm not going to feel deficient. I'm not going to feel like I failed because I didn't stick a little prayer in there. No. Prayer and faith. The faith. So we join our faith together. So that whoever is praying. Yeah, that the, 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 the faith fuels the prayer, if you will. The faith fuels the prayer to reach the ears of the Lord to gain the the attention and to provoke the move of God are, are we communicating on this prayer and faith work together let him call to the other church let him anoint let uh, let let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord now, of course, you know, 
that historically uh, in the biblical times and to some extent even now uh, oil has a, at least uh, two um, um, if effectual uses one is medicinal yeah it's medicinal it, it can be a, it can be a medicine amen 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 check out some passages in the in the word of God where oil was used um, with or by itself or with other things to to draw the inflammation out of boils and all kinds of things and of course the other thing is 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 symbolic of the Spirit of God amen now I, I think it's it's worth mentioning those dual purposes because Jesus is Lord over our bodies and our spirits amen so we anoint with oil believing that Jesus is will touch this body Jesus will regulate what needs to be regulated Jesus will heal what needs to be healed Jesus will hear our prayer and the faith that fuels the prayer that causes what I see in my mind when I say that 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 causes that that uh, that prayer rocket as a rocket at the Kennedy Space Center or somewhere the faith that causes that rocket to be propelled amen into the presence of God it's the faith it's the faith And, and he says and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he committed any sins it will be forgiven him amen we've got to be able to look to one another for prayerful support amen when, when people are sick when people are suffering we've got to know. so please let, let us um um, work diligently to not tell somebody okay I'm praying for you if you're not praying for them if you tell somebody you're going to pray for them then ignite start start uh, 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 stirring up the embers of your faith so that you can go and offer a, 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 a an effective prayer to the Lord on behalf of that person but please don't just use the words to placate people and to satisfy people oh, all right I'm praying for you no 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 if if that's not so then don't say it and if you say it do it if you know that you're not uh, one of those persons who has the faith to believe God to, to intervene and to turn things around don't promise to pray amen don't 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 promise to do it if you don't believe the prayer is going to work leave it alone nobody will harm you hurt you hate you but if you say you're going to pray and if you pray if I pray, be people of faith who believe that prayer and faith, oh, we go before the Lord requesting a certain thing, amen, according to his will, that he will move. No sense in us crowding in people's rooms to pray and say we're going to have prayer service and it's just a perfunctory kind of performance. Nobody needs that. nobody needs to show people need the faith of the saints coming together and even if we're not physically together and I know you're praying I can agree to pray at that time or we can get on the phone if you with the person and, and I can join you in prayer or whatever the situation whatever the circumstance faith Faith, then, is what fuels 
our prayers. It is faith that fuels our prayers. We got to do it though. We got to pray because we're instructed to pray. We're, we're directed to pray. So is it, 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 it's not a matter of, well, you think we ought to pray? Yeah. Now, if you don't believe in the power of it, the efficacy of it or whatever, good. Just step on, step on back, you know, and, but even if you believe it, but you don't feel so strong in it, yeah, come on, we join our faith together. But if you really don't believe in the power of prayer, you think people who pray just wasting their words, step out of the circle. Don't need your spirit interrupting us. Are, are we communicating? This is so critical. And he says, and the prayer of faith, the prayer of faith, the prayer of faith. The prayer fueled by faith. The prayer fueled by faith. The prayer fueled by faith. Will save the sick, and the Lord shall raise them up, and as if he committed his sins, the Lord will forgive him. Amen. Now, please know again, and I will say this very, very, very uh, briefly. Amen. I also, while I don't believe going to the hospital to have a baby is sickness, unless there's a complication with the pregnancy. I just think that's what happens when we do what we do. We have, people have, ladies have babies. At the same time, if a senior saint, an elderly saint, a, a person of faith, who has lived for the Lord and lived to spend eternity with the Lord, who's laid aside the world, who's lived a life to, uh, to, that exemplifies Christ and has spoken life to others and has done what they knew to do to let their light shine. And they're old now. I don't think we need to run up in the hospital call them sick. That body is just doing what bodies do when they have served their purpose. It's closing down. All right. I know there might be some disagreement on that. But look, if I'm 103 and my breathing gets shallowed, please don't pray for my breathing to get better. I'm trying to get on where Jesus is. Pray for me to have an easy crossing. Thank God for me releasing this world and embracing what's ahead of me. Prayer and faith. That's what saints live for. No, don't, don't burden People who are ready, ready to leave and are fit to leave. Don't burden them. Oh, you can't leave us. Oh, what we going to do? Lord, bring her back. Bring. So you are praying that for the person's good. We're praying that because we're selfish. Because we will still want them around. Many times these are people we didn't, we didn't have visit. We didn't care for. We didn't do anything. With. Let, man, let me go. Prayer and faith. Now, I believe when, when this is this is this is for somebody who's viable and, and can still do a livelihood, still has some some meaning in their time that they will be raised up. And sometimes the Lord purposes that a young person will pass. Amen. That a young person will be. He if he. He will heal by taking the, the issue or the problem from us, or he will heal by taking us from the problem or the issue. Thanks be unto God. So a discerning spirit 
a discerning spirit will be able to to uh, understand what the will of the Lord is and pray toward that end. Pray for understanding for the family. Pray for the family to have a sense of release. Pray for the family to have a, a sense of celebration. I'm, at, if I'm, at, I'm back to the 103 now. Um, if the, the Lord can, if he raises me up in heaven, that's fine. If he wills for me to stay here, that's fine. Can't lose to live as Christ to die as gain. But whoever praying for me, please be sensitive to what the Lord is saying or doing. Is that if it has committed any sins, they shall be forgiven. How can God do that? God can do what he wants to do. It's people who get hung up on what people have, others have done, or what we assume or we figured or we heard others have done. And then we have issues even when they're getting ready to, to go to glory. We still got issues because we're holding on to what they did. Please. The Lord didn't leave me nor you as a clearing house for somebody else to get to him. If your mind's all twisted like that, don't pray for people. I don't even know whether it's good for you to read read a passage of scripture because your faith ain't active. Anyway, just some helpful hints. Just some helpful hints. Things. Just some helpful hints. Prayer and faith. Prayer and faith working together prayer and faith working together working together our prayer is being fueled by our faith are, are we communicating our prayer is being fueled oh God I know you can I read it in your word I've seen it before God I know you can my faith says you can do anything God Oh, God, my faith is stirred. My faith is encouraged. I have faith that you will raise this person up and restore them to life. I have faith that you will transition this person into your eternal presence. Prayer is fueled by faith. Bless the Lord, saints. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the people. Of God. I love people. Bless the Lord. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God. You anointed the hymn writer to say, Oh what peace we often forfeit. Oh what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. And so, O oh Lamb of God, we come not in our own sufficiency but Lord we come in our insufficiency acknowledging that you are the whole one you are the one who completes us oh God in the name of Jesus thank you for this chance to be in your word thank you for the, the participants from from all over from, from, from those who have identified where they're from whether it be Texas or Florida or wherever they are God South Carolina, right here in our home area. Oh God, we just thank you for everybody, God. In the name of Jesus. And I know in this room right now that those who are facing challenges, so oh see, oh my. So God, we join our faith with, with their faith, God. In the name of Jesus. And we petition you to move on their behalf. We petition you to move, God, to work that miracle, God to turn a situation around, God, to bring healing, God, to bring your shalom, your peace, God, your surety in their spirits that you have everything under control. We join our faith with their faith, Lord, to propel the, the, the prayer right to the throne room in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, have your way today, God. Oh, God, thank you for the healing in our minds, Lord. In our souls, our thoughts, Lord, our convictions, Lord, in our, in our spirits, God, the healing in our bodies, God, 
in the name of Jesus that are manifested in so many areas of life. Oh God, thank you for the healing, Lord. And we give you all the praise, all the honor and the glory. Right now, God, we take just a moment to pray for that soul that's nearest to hell. That, that one that doesn't care, that one is, that's unconvicted, unconverted, unconvinced. God, in the name of Jesus, graciously grant them a little more time, Lord, that they may, uh, may hear you even calling again and yield to you, God. We pray for the backsliders who knew you and slipped away, God, but you're waiting for them to come back home. And Lord, we pray for the strengthening of the saints. Oh God, thank you today. We're praying, we are believing you for healing this day, God, we believe in that we shall hear the testimonies not many days hence, God, because we join our faith together to fuel our prayers today in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise you. Our souls say yes in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless y'all saints. I love you. I love you. I love everybody.